Well, great. We've had a few minutes. I'm guessing we have most people in the chat. Uh, would you like to get started? Thanks for That's joining. That's a good in idea. Those of you that have used Menti before, keep it up there. We're going to do a couple of these throughout our presentation today. So hold on to menti.com and wait for the next code. All right. Well, I am going to seize control then with your permission, Rach. Take control, Greg. And you should be seeing my big presentation. Are we good? You sure do. Yep. Perfect. I'm going to hide my video. Are you going to have us... Uh, Watch you the whole time, Greg, with those suspenders. That's the plan. <laughs> I got all dressed up. No, as a matter of fact, let me uh, I'll stop my video. I have there. to see I'm gone. Wi Fi. All right. Well, welcome and thanks everyone for joining us to talk about how to increase student success with CABE print and digital solutions. I'm Greg Stoltz. And with me today is my esteemed colleague, Rachel Buddy. Rach is our digital account manager. And she provides training and support to not only our customers across the country, but to our sales team as well. Say hi, sis. Hello, everyone. So we are recording today's session. Uh, you'll be sent a link to the recording in a few days. And we'll be doing our best to respond promptly to any questions that you want to put in the chat or into the, uh, uh, as a question uh, in the Q&A. Uh, since we have a lot of ground to cover, I, I say we dive right in and I'm not even gonna tell any jokes. Well, no. <laughs> now, for those of you who did log on early and shared some of the challenges you've been facing since 2020, thanks for your comments. Uh, enlightening, uh, not all of them a surprise. Uh, the, the tacos, somewhat of a surprise. For those of you who participate in pro literacy and new readers press surveys and questionnaires throughout the year, or if you know, for that matter, pass along information to your state sales representative, thank you as well. Your shared knowledge, your suggestions, your requests help us to develop and tailor our resources to meet the needs of programs all across the US. So for several years now, New Readers Press has been looking for improved ways to help you increase educational function levels for TABE learners. In today's session, we're going to introduce New Readers Press print and digital solutions that will do exactly that. Let's start where the program administrators, coordinators, and instructors are introduced to the student's data. To some of you, this may be reviewed to others hang on to your seats. <laughs> so the first thing provided after a TABE pre-assessment is often the student's individual profile, or I, I call it the IP report. I know some call it the individual student profile or the ISP report. It's all the same thing. IP report is easiest for me because it's short. Uh, <laughs> and that includes their pre-test performance scores or their, you know, their, their TABE level and the corresponding NRS level. Detailed performance categories help them identify the student's proficiency level in different categories by subject. Hey, Greg, do you want to go over each one of those a little more detail, please, the domains? Yep. So, uh, so the Table 1112 has three sections, the reading, the math, and the language. And each of these has uh, what they call content area reporting objectives or domains. Uh, for example, as you can see here uh, under reading, they have key ideas and details, craft and structure, integration of knowledge and ideas. Under math, they have measurement and data, numbers and operations for fractions and so on. Those are the domains. So Greg, I'm just wondering, you know, as a teacher, it, it took me a while to get comfortable with this information. So um, can you maybe just share with us what teachers would do with that information once they have it? You bet. Great suggestion, Rach. Gee, now if I didn't know better, <laughs> I think this was rehearsed. I, okay, so, so New Readers Press created a TABE study guide. And this is a free resource available on our website at www 
www.newreaderspress.com. We're going to go there later. Back to the IP report. In addition to indicating the student's level of proficiency in each domain, the IP report identifies skills that need to be honed. And, and they're called areas for next focus. So that's where our study guide comes in. The teachers can take the areas for next focus on that IP report and use our study guide to find suitable New Reader's Press print and digital resources to provide instruction and practice by title, by unit, by lesson, right down to the page number for the print resources. So I'll show you the study guide in a bit, but first let's take a quick look at several print materials aligned to, if not created for, TAVE test success. So one of our first uh, resources, it's correlated to the individual profile, is our popular TAVE mastery series. This series connects directly to the TAVE IPs to help increase the skills needed to improve student success in each of the proficiency areas. You'll understand why in just a minute. TAVE mastery books address the three content areas of the test, the reading, the language, and the math, with four levels within each subject. And we uh, speak to levels E, M, D, and A, and you can see corresponding NRS levels there. So the students can start at the appropriate level based on their pre-test scores and correlating NRS level, then progress through the book levels to improve their skills and test scores. So we carefully aligned this series to the TAVE 11 and 12 blueprints. Following college career readiness standards and the descriptions to build the scope and sequence, and then from the scope and sequence, the table of contents with student-friendly learning goals for every unit. The student book for each level and subject includes a pretest, uh, unit checkups, and a practice test. The lessons follow a predictable step-by-step -step scaffolded approach that's easy to follow and includes clear explanations and multiple examples for modeling purposes, guided practice with sidebar tips for critical thinking, uh, test taking, and making workplace connections as well, and uh, also independent practice and lesson review. And the questions reflect the content that students will see on the TAVE test. To provide guidance and lighten the teacher's load, we created teacher's manuals for every subject at every level. Each one of them begins with a series overview that briefly describes what's in the student books and how they work. And then there are two pages of teacher notes per lesson that cover the learning goals, um, College Career Readiness and TABE standards are, are uh, called out. Um, it uh, covers the prerequisites and background for each lesson, vocabulary in the lesson, and then teaching the skill uh, or strategy and guiding the practice for the learners. And additionally, the teacher's manuals give suggestions for well, group activities where appropriate, independent practice, and differentiated instruction for struggling learners, for English language learners, for higher level students. Uh, and then there's a lesson review, and there are even work links included. So pretty robust teacher's manuals. Similar to the TABE Mastery Series, our score boost for TABE workbooks are also aligned to the TABE blueprints and the College Career Readiness Standards, as well as to the IP reports uh, in our free TABE study guide.
They include unit checkups and action plans for review and a practice test at the end. Uh, each workbook has instruction and practice for students in strategic two-page lessons. So they're digestible, hard-hitting lessons, not intimidating. Uh, and they're built on an explicit instruction model. So each new strategy is explained, then it's modeled with guided practice and independent practice, uh, and then TABE practice. The questions are modeled on TABE test items, mirroring both the content and format. And test taking tips and critical thinking strategies are included in every lesson. And once again, the score boost for the TABE workbooks are available in all three content areas and at the TABE levels E, M, D, and A. You know, some have asked, do we have anything for level L? Not at this time in our score boost series, per se. Uh, we have some um, of our resources that are actually uh, uh, correlate, uh, have correlations to the level L and address some of those skills. Um, but we don't have any uh, specific TABE materials that we produced for level L. There's just there just aren't uh, enough people who've expressed an interest yet for us to go there. So the score boost workbooks are sold by subject and level in packs of 10, or you can buy a leveled student set that includes one reading workbook, one language workbook, and then three math workbooks. And check that there are actually four for level D, and then uh, levels E, M, and A have three math workbooks. So actually many of our print resources are correlated to the table 11 and 12 and are referenced in our TABE study guide. For example, our Journey to Success series provides evidence-based reading instruction and process writing instruction and practice using contextualized literature, social studies, science, and work and life skills, readings and passages. I love the Journey to Success series, Greg. Me too. Journey to Success series addresses the needs of adult learners from NRS levels one through four, and that's TABE levels L, E, M, and D. And there you have the level L that I was talking about there. Mm -hmm. There's an introductory Journey to Success book and book one, and they deal primarily with alphabetics, phonics, uh, phonemic awareness, decoding. So another popular title referenced often in the study guide that I promise I'm going to show you uh, with similar NRS and TABE levels is our Challenger series. This series focuses on, on reading, writing, and reasoning skills through high interest fiction and nonfiction stories that are relevant to today's learners. There are quite a few more, and I didn't even mention any of the math titles. Really, I brought up Journey and Challenger, so it'll make more sense when I switch gears and go live to show how easy it is to connect the TABE individual profiles to these print resources using our TABE study guide. And, and hey, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. So let me see if I can figure out how to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop to... sharing for just a moment and I'll do another Mentimeter for you. Oh, great. Give you a chance to switch gears. Jump here and stop sharing. Thank you. Sure, why not? Let's do that. All right, folks, one more Mentimeter coming up. Go to menti.com. The new code you'll be using is 4020-1248. I'm going to close out of this, but you will see the code
code at the top of the screen, 4020-1248. We've got a couple of questions here. We're actually going to ask you one question this time. We want to know what level your students are. What TABE level are they right now? And we did have a, a question in the chat um, that we'll address at the end of the session. But this will help if we can take a look at what level folks are working with. Excellent. So I see a lot of level M in here. And Greg, you just let us know when you're ready and we'll switch gears again. Oh, anytime, I guess, sis. All right. Ah, we're seeing some changes here as more and more folks participate. Menti.com 4020. One, two, four, eight. The more entries we get, the more things change. I love it. A lot of level E, a lot of level M. That is good to know. All right, Greg, I'm going to stop sharing. You can jump right in and go ahead and share. Super. Five. All right, let's see. So I promised to show you our TAPE study guide and our website. Let me begin by jumping to our website. I hope you are seeing now. Great. Yep, we've got it. All right. So here we are at newreaderspress.com, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, to, um, to get to the TABE study guide, now there are a number of ways to do it, but the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to jump to where it says here near the top on the dashboard, TABE 1112, and click on that, and then click on either the score boost for the TABE or the TABE mastery, it doesn't matter which, and then scroll down and click on any of the individual books, and scroll down yet again, down to the bottom here where you'll see free resources and the TABE study guide and click on it. Now, I'm not gonna do that instead uh, because it's so much easier. What I think I'm going to do is jump to What, what I would strongly recommend for, uh, for anyone is to actually download this study guide. Once you, once you get to it on our website, download it as I did. I did it right to my desktop because then I can open it up at any time uh, and, um, and it's just very, it's just easily accessible. And it also opens up this feature where I can just search it easier with, by, uh, by doing a search in the text for specific words. Uh, you know, like um, prisms or um, uh, you know, punctuation or whatever it is, and then I can find things more quickly. So this is the actual study guide. And uh, as I scroll down here, you'll see that there are clear instructions as to how you use it. Uh, but basically using the study guide is very easy. Uh, what you would do is first, and this is going to require me to jump yet again. So I'm going to jump to the, um, I'm going to jump to Do you want to zoom in for us, Greg, there? Um, is this better? Right at the top, there's a 74%. We might want to see a little closer zoom in on that if possible. Are you looking at the DRC's uh, TABE sample student IP report? Yes. Okay, great. Yep. So, so here we have it. And this, I just went to TABE 11 and 12 adult assessment on, on, the, on the internet. Uh, and, uh, and there are good instructions here uh, that the DRC pro provides for, uh, for navigating the, uh, the IP reports. Uh, and uh, I got a lot of help from this myself. But what you would do is 
This is a sample report. And here, as I mentioned earlier and showed, you have the domains listed. Uh, you have. Greg, I think we're still looking at your tape study guide. You might have to reshare your screen. Oh. Yep. I've gone it. It has the IP report in it. So. <laughs> no, <laughs> but just the beginning wanted. part of it. If you're showing the whole IP report, I apologize. Not a problem. Here we go. There we go. All right. So here is a, a, a sample IP report. Uh, from the uh, Table 11 and 12 site. And scrolling down here, this should look familiar. I showed it on an earlier slide. You can see the domains for reading math and language and the uh, proficiency, non-partial or proficient. Scrolling down to the next part here is where we're going to do most of our work. And so here we have, this is a test this is uh, the, the, uh, the scores for uh, level M of the TABE test. So level M, and here we have the reading domain. Followed by mathematics. And what I want to show you here, and we'll use math uh, for, for starters is right here. So here's the domain, uh, the performance listed as partial proficiency. So the student has exhibited partial proficiency uh, in numbers and operations fractions. Let's go down to geometry. I want to give you an example there. Here we go. So geometry. So the skills, demonstrated skills are listed. These are the things uh, that the uh, pretest indicates the student is capable of doing. And then just after it here on the far right, this is what I was mentioning earlier, the areas for next focus. So these are the skills that the student needs to work on. Now, uh, for geometry, actually this student sh uh, showed proficiency in these skills at level M. So for example, for plotting points and drawing polygons, uh, with integer coordinates in the coordinate plane, we're going to go to our TABE study guide and we're going to look for plotting points and drawing polygons with integer coordinates in the coordinate plane. But since the student uh, exhibited proficiency in level M for geometry, to find this work, we're actually going to switch gears and here I'm going to change to our study guide now. I'm going to put the uh, sample IP report in the chat for everyone so they can kind of look along with you Great. while you're sharing the study guide. And here we have our study guide with clear instructions, but I'll call your attention over here to the left margin. And we have here language, reading, and math at the different levels. So remember, the student exhibited proficiency at level M. So I'm going to search level D, math level D. And as it happens, let me make this bigger. There we go. As it happens, Plot points and draw polygons with integer coordinates in the coordinate plane. So there's that TABE skill description from the IP report for areas for next focus. And now next to it, you see here, this is the standard. And then here, the description of that standard. But below it, this is key. So to work on plotting points and drawing polygons, that next areas for next focus, our study guide takes this, you to our Math Sense One book in the Math Sense series. Great book. Pages 118 and 119. Our Math Sense Two book, Focus on Problem Solving, pages 108 through 111, 114, 115, 162, 163. Our score boost for the TABE, Level D, Math Workbook Three pages four through seven. It even gives you the item number should you uh, not have this in your inventory in, you know, on, on your shelves or in your students' hands and you wanna order them. 
and our Cave Mastery Mathematics Level D, pages 178 to 183. So here we have one, two, three, four different resources that all speak to that one area for next focus. And that's in a nutshell how you would use uh, the, uh, the, our Cave Study Guide and the IP report. Uh, I love it. To, uh, to, uh, to come up with a learning plan. Now, I'll do one more because I want to show you what would happen uh, if instead of using, share the right screen here. If instead of using, uh, for ex the example here in mathematics where there was proficiency, we scroll down to language uh, and under language conventions of standard English, where there's only partial proficiency, I decide, okay, well, let's look for um, identifying multiple sentences with comma errors. That's an area for next focus. Now, remember the student exhibited only partial proficiency and this is at level M. And I'm looking for identifying multiple sentences with comma errors so that when I go to our study guide again. Boy, that's one area all students need focus. Right? Commas. And, and I go to language, I'm going to go to level M. And. There it is, right there at the bottom. And there you have it. A little further down. Oops. There's Here we go. Thomas. Yep. It takes a bit to get used to this, but boy, is it a great resource when you're trying to figure out how to find that extra practice for students. Right. Identifying multiple sentences with comma errors. Wow. Actually, a lot of stuff here about Thomas. Uh, but then you go over to the resources, the, the uh, materials, and you'll see Challenger, book four, and the student book, and all of these different pages speak to that skill, the Challenger's teacher manual addresses that as well on pages 122, 128, Journey to Success, book four, student book four on these pages, our New Readers Press online learning course in the pre-HSE reading and language, unit four, lessons four and seven, score boost for the TABE level and language on these pages and the TABE mastery language level M on these pages. And the whole study guide is like this. And you'll see that as you go to uh, different levels and areas that there are even more uh, resources that are included. Our WorkWise series, for example, in reading and math uh, and writing uh, is, is one that comes to mind. Uh, our pre-HSE uh, core skill books, there's a plethora of materials, our Breakthrough to Math series for lower math levels uh, and just uh, resource after resource that you'll find so that regardless of what level uh, your learner is working in, L through A, New Readers Press will show you resources in our TAPE study guide that correspond to those areas for next focus in the IP report. Pretty and Greg, cool. will we be adding the, uh, the TAPE levels to this study guide for online learning? Oh, that's a good point. You know, our our on our uh, Tabe online learning platform is so new that we are still updating our our Tabe study guide. So although they are not here, um, you know what, sis? Can I show them that live again after your after you talk a little bit about the online learning for the Tabe? Sure, that'd be great. Great. So uh, I think I can turn this back to you and let you share and do a little while I get a sip of water. Sounds good. Great. All right. Yes, folks, I have one more, one more mentee for you. 
Let me give this full screen so everyone can see the code. This is a simple code, but there are two questions in this particular menti.com mentimeter. 3303 076. Join me in menti.com 3303 076. Here's what we want to know. The first question is what percentage of your instruction includes print materials? So we are curious. The more information the ha we have, the more we can help you to provide the right resources for your programs. So what percentage of your instruction includes print materials? And then I bet you can guess what the second question is going to be. What percentage of your instruction includes digital resources? We've already got some answers in there. That's great. Let's see what's coming up with our print materials. Join us again at menti.com 3303076. That's at the top. I can also copy the link and put it into the chat for everyone. That print question's not showing up for you, Ryan. You might have to go back. Usually once you submit the first answer, it will have the second for you. But hey, if no one else is getting that, let's just talk about digital resources. Why not? Ah, 50 to 74%. It looks like we've got a pretty strong group in here for digital mm -hmm. resources, which is great because that's what I'm going to talk about next. All right, let me jump and switch gears here and talk a little more with you about online learning. Online learning is another great way to boost your students' TABE scores. And now we're looking at TABE 11, 12 test prep that's been added to online learning. So some of you may already be familiar with New Readers Press Online Learning and how it offers courses in GED. Hello? High set and test prep for pre-HSE. But what's special about online learning? Well, it's flexible, can be used in a variety of different ways by a variety of different programs for a variety of types of instruction. And it provides personalized learning empowering students through highly interactive features, pacing guides, and much more. And it's accessible around the clock. So on a computer, tablet, or smartphone 24 seven. Students can download the free mobile app so they'll be able to study anytime, anywhere. They can even switch to airplane mode and work offline. When they go back online before closing the app, their work will sync and all of the time and progress will be saved. Face-to-face, -face, remote distance learning, or hybrid classrooms, which it sounds like a lot of you have, can use online learning. And online learning is usable for learners working synchronously or asynchronously. Say that 10 times fast. All of our print materials and our new TABE online learning courses are based on those TABE blueprints that help students increase EFL gains. Our TABE 1112 courses contain a fully structured study plan that moves students through the entire course, or teachers can create a customized curriculum. Each unit introduces lessons with clear learning goals and objectives, and each lesson has TABE mirrored content examples, guided practice, tips, tricks, vocabulary, and practice questions. I'll give you a closer look at those soon. And then, of course, assessments in each course, which include a pretest, unit review tests, and a final post test to evaluate student success. The TAPE courses are available in three content areas reading, language, and mathematics, and four TAPE levels allowing learners to grow with the program. So there's those NRS levels that someone asked about earlier. Shava, I think that was you. So NRS 1, 2, and 3 are in level E. And then you'll notice there's an overlap here of 2, 3, and 4, 3, 4, and 5 with each of the levels. 
our online learning math courses have even more material. So we've included two courses in each level to ensure students get enough practice to master the skills and the content. So just like our TABE print materials, our TABE online learning courses make it easy for teachers to determine what level to give students based on those TABE pretest scale scores. So for example, a student with a reading pretest score of 515 who qualifies at NRS level three could begin with the TABE level E content and work their way through levels M and D. Students begin an online learning with adaptive course calendar to individualize their studies. And each time a student changes their completion date, the knowledge goal will update to inform the student of how many lessons they need to complete each day to reach their goal date. As students continue, their daily knowledge goal adapts and their progress percentage updates to inform them of how far they've come. Students can also track individual game scores and achievement badges right on the homepage. While students work through the program, they will use true metacognition by rating their own level of confidence for each lesson and guided practice section. Once a lesson is complete, students will see a recap of their work to help them decide whether they need to review or are ready to continue. Each TABE course includes opportunities for guided practice that teachers can share remotely or in person using a Think Loud technique, or for learners who safely want to practice independently. Interactive tips are built into the lessons and guided practice, giving examples or adding context to the task. In the TABE courses, tips can include vocabulary definitions, real world connections, helpful hints, test taking strategies, or even math facts. And our new try and interactives allow learners to check in with additional practice to be sure they understand the concept before moving to the next lesson, much like a personal exit ticket. To improve TABE's test scores, online learning has multiple opportunities to increase vocabulary needed for the TABE exams. Interactive vocabulary flashcards help students master the vocabulary content and are built into each unit. Games make learning vocabulary fun, and for those who like competition, <clears throat> Greg, they are an exciting way to increase their test prep knowledge. There's a toolbar in the top right corner of the platform that features interactive study tools which allows students to do things like highlight text, bookmark a lesson, and even make notes directly within the platform. This is great for your college and career readiness. In addition, a built-in toolbox may also include a functional calculator or a math formula reference sheet, just like you find on the TABE exams. Coming soon in 2022, much like our pre-HSE courses already have, TABE Levels e &M will contain our Read Aloud feature to help bridge the gap for struggling readers and transitioning English language learners. Let's listen in and hear. Fragments. A sentence fragment is an incomplete sentence. Note you can even change the speed of the audio. A fragment may be missing a subject or a predicate. Using the flexible learning management system in online learning, teachers can access course content and use their teacher edition to create lesson plans via the study dashboard or use the reporting dashboard to create customized curriculum, access instructor resources, send messages to students, view progress reports, and download detailed time on task reports. Using the Create Curriculum tool, study plans can be customized for individuals or multiple learners in a class, and teachers can follow completion progress. 
The unique URLs created when customizing curriculum also allow teachers to cut and paste to connect online learning to any student management system. So if you use Canvas, Blackboard, Google Classroom, it makes it really easy to connect those. Want to communicate directly with students and form small groups for differentiation? Teachers can share class materials, flip their classroom, create buzz around an essay topic, link to additional study material, and even more using online learning discussion boards. And the Message Center has two communication options. Teachers can create banner messages for their classes that are displayed across the top of the study dashboard where students cannot miss them. Or you can actually send an in-app message to a student's online learning mailbox. One of the most important pieces of online learning are the analytics that track student progress. Multiple reports provide insight into learner progress as a whole or individually. In class reports, teachers and administrators can view aggregate totals for the class and specific subject areas, or they can analyze a class subject area more deeply to find the lowest confidence levels and most missed questions on lessons or tests. Love that feature in online learning. Similar to the class reports, individual student reports are available in the TABE online learning courses. Aggregate totals and breakdowns by subject allow teachers to identify strengths and weaknesses for each student, in addition to detailed confidence levels and practice score percentages by lesson. All of this makes online learning an excellent tool to increase student success on TABE assessments and high school equivalency exams. So if you're interested in a live demonstration of online learning or to be eligible for a free 90-day pilot for your organization, please contact your local state sales representative. And Greg's actually going to take us live now to the New Readers Press website again to show you how you can find your rep, look inside some of the products shared today to get more information, find all of our free resources, and even request a trial or pilot of our TABE online learning courses. I will do just that. All right. Take it away, Greg. Let me switch and we should be back on the website. You're there. Great. So here we are back at newreaderspress.com, our homepage. And uh, well, just because it's right up here at the top, I'll quickly point it out and I'll point it out again before we're done. Find a sales rep way up at the top, find a sales rep, click on it. And then you can either search, select your state or scroll down if you're looking for your rep. I'll actually put a link to that in the chat as well in case anyone's interested in any of the resources they've seen today. In Hawaii, for example. And there it is, we got Randy Erickson, his contact information in, so that you folks in Hawaii can contact him with questions. I don't know how Randy wound up with Hawaii. I think he's going to have a bad accident and they're going to need somebody else to step in and take it from him. Lucky duck, right? Yeah, and they won't be able to prove it was me that did it to him either. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, so that's how you find a sales rep, but I did want to show you a couple of things. You know, before I forget, there was a, there was a question in the chat earlier, Rach, uh, someone wanted to know, uh, what the main differences are between the journey to success and, uh, the challenger series. And this is a great segue because here I'm going to go up to adult education and under core reading here. I can click on challenger or journey to success, either one. I'm gonna click on journey and scroll down. And uh, then what you do next is you just click on any one of these individual books. And there are different ways by here to filter too. You can narrow by uh, correlations, uh, you can narrow by reading level, but here I'm just gonna click on uh, a random journey to success level. And once you get to the individual title, 
Journey to Success student book four, for example, scroll down just a little bit and you'll see that there's this look inside feature. I'm going to click on it, click, because this is now this is a, actually a downloadable PDF. So what you can do is uh, if you can print this if you like, if you're like me and you just prefer to have something in your hands to read instead of doing it on a screen. Not that I enjoy killing trees, but uh, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm a dinosaur <laughs> that way, I guess. I just like to have stuff printed. But here it is, and I'm going to open this up, and you can see the full table of contents. And this is true for almost every single one of our print resources. You can go to, to the uh, um, you know look inside feature, open it right up, and see the full table of contents. And here you see by unit the work and life skills, social studies, science, literature, mini lessons in the back, the answer key, and then uh, you can go in and actually take a look at one or more lessons as well. Absolutely love the, uh, the journey series, but that's one thing that you definitely want to do. In my opinion, before you make a purchase uh, is, uh, you know, take a look inside first and see is, you know, is, is this going to, is this going to meet my needs? Now, scrolling down lower, you'll see that there are free resources, correlations, videos, so a lot of free resources that we offer here. Just for Journey to Success Student Book 4, there's the Correlated Teacher's Guide, which is free. It's a downloadable PDF. You can print this as well and use it. Uh, journey to Success uh, and its uh, alignment to the STAR project, uh, Journey to Success and how it's aligned and a crosswalk to some of our uh, digital resources. Here's an EFL placement chart so that you'll know where to start your learner, scope and sequence, a closer look of the series. And this is what we share for free. Yep. And, uh, and the reason, uh, journey to success review for the level. So uh, a mastery level checkup here, the TABE study guide, right? So that you can uh, look at the TABE study guide as well. And then here, how to choose which reading series. So the question was, how does journey to success differ from Challenger? And this little guide here will show you how to choose from our core series, Law Back Way to Reading, Challenger, Journey to Success. And it gives you information on each and then makes a really good comparison. And by really good, I mean really good. It goes into the instructional emphasis differences, the audience, the targeted audiences, the, the type of students that will uh, be drawn more to Challenger versus Journey or vice versa. At the lower levels, the law back way to reading, tutors and teachers, what the appeal is for teachers and tutors, comparison of the books and levels, the reading selections, extras, the amount of new vocabulary, placement, assessment, when sh students should move from one series to the next. I mean, just a lot of information here so that you can more effectively use our resources and all hey, of that. Yeah. Greg, Greg? Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, before we're done today, um, would you mind jumping in to show them in our TABE online learning, the crosswalks we have there? Oh, I promised to do that too. Yes, yes, Should yes. Sorry. Thank you so much for those IP reports. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so back yeah. up to the top. And here we have uh, on the dashboard, digital solutions. So let's click here on digital solutions and go to New Readers Press Online Learning. Click. Scroll down and you can see here that we have TABE for math, for language, and for reading. Go ahead and click on math, I guess. Click on that resource. And once again, once we get to that individual resource, that individual product or title, scrolling down, we'll see free resources. We'll see videos here, 
uh, startup videos that are helpful, support features, but under the free resources, the TABE individual student profile aligned to NRP online learning TABE map. I'm going to click on that. And let's make it big. And here we have those TABE skills that you can align to our new readers press online learning. So if, for example, they need to, uh, they need to improve. Oh, let's look at math level N. That's where most of everyone is. Right. Comparing decimals to the thousandths place. Then you would take them to the math level M, New Readers Press Online Learning for the TABE course and reference unit two, lesson two, comparing decimals. Which makes customizing curriculum in online learning very simple. Right. Well, I think we're about out of time, Greg. We actually are a bit over from what I think we were asked to Oops. do as usual. So <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Thank you, Greg, for joining me and Dan. And thank all of you for everything you do for adult education.